as was mentioned, you have more women graduates than ever before. And I have every confidence that you will help usher in a day when the world's halls of power more closely resemble the world's people. I'm acutely aware that the amount of knowledge and skill you've gained in these past two years exceeds the amount of wisdom I can impart in just a few minutes. But often, picking up the su subtle signals means stepping back, slowing down, reflecting. Even in the undoubtedly fast-paced environment in which you exist, the wisdom of Cicero still holds. It's not by muscle, speed, or physical dexterity that great things are achieved, but by reflection, force of character, and judgment. <laughs> Still, I would caution you against overplanning your careers, because just as students who graduated 25 years ago now work in private equity, hedge funds, nanotechnology, internet-based businesses, green technologies, industries that did not exist then, I believe that many of you will ultimately work and lead industries that do not exist today. And more personally, for me, it was an exciting unplanned path that brought me to this career in academia and ultimately to this stage today. Indeed, in some ways, mine has been a life unplanned. And looking out with great pride at all of you and this institution we call Wharton, I wouldn't have it any other way. So as I leave this position and you leave Wharton, I will simply say, you have the concepts and methods to excel, and you know what you need to do, but take time to reflect. Stay tuned to the weak signals. And without fear of failure and open to where it may lead, take the shot. If you can do those things, and if you can put the skills you've developed to the best possible use, you will surely find your chosen path rewarding and enriching, not only for you, but for the world that we share. And that world is one which I have every expectation that you will lead. Congratulations.